You write the statements by choosing the appropriate options. The servants of India Society was prompted by Dash. Option A, Ganesh Vasudev Joshi. Option B, Bau Daji Lard. Option C, M.G. Ranade. Option D, Gopal Krishna Gokhale. Correct answer is Option D, Gopal Krishna Gokhale. The first session of Indian National Congress was held at Dash. Option A, Pune. Option B, Mumbai. Option C, Kolkata. Option D, Lucknow. Correct answer is Option B, Mumbai. Dash wrote the Gita Rasya. Option A, Lokmanya Tilak. Option B, Dadabai Noroji. Option C, Lala Lachpatrai. Option D, Upin Chandrapal. Correct answer is Option A, Lokmanya Tilak. Write the names. Moderate leaders. Gopal Krishna Gokhale, Hiroshima Mehta. Extremist leaders. Lokmanya Tilak, Lala Lajpat Rai. Explain the following statements with reasons. In the struggle for independence, a sense of identity was awakened among the Indians. Western education familiarized the educated Indians with modern values such as liberty, equality, democracy, and nationalism. The Asiatic Society at Bengal edited and published hundreds of manuscripts in Sanskrit, Persian, and other Indian languages. The realization that India had a rich ancient heritage aroused a feeling of national pride. This gave Indians a sense of identity. Two groups were formed in the Indian National Congress. Though at a slow pace, the contribution of the Indian National Congress was consistent in the initial stages, but the extremists felt the need to intensify the freedom struggle. Moderates and extremists were unanimous about the objectives of Congress, but there are differences regarding the methods or ways to achieve it. The moderates insisted on constitutional measures, whereas the extremists wanted to adopt severe methods. The tension between these groups increased during the Surat session in 1907. This led to the formation of two groups within the Congress. Lord Curzon decided to partition Bengal. The British decided to use the policy of divide and rule to create a rift between Hindu-Muslim community. Then Viceroy Lord Curzon contributed to it. Bengal was a very large province. Carry out the work of this province was difficult from an administrative point of view. By putting up this reason, in 1905, he declared the partition of Bengal province. With this partition, arrangement was made such that majority Muslims will remain in East Bengal and West Bengal for majority of Hindus. Therefore, Lord Curzon decided to partition Bengal. Rice Short Notes Objectives of Indian National Congress To make the people from different parts of India forget the differences in the religion, race, caste, language, geographical territories and bring them on a common platform. To understand each other's problems and views. To increase the feeling of oneness among the people. To take efforts for the development of the country were the objectives of the Indian National Congress. Anti-partition movement There was public awakening against partition not only in Bengal but all over India. 16 October, the day of partition was observed as National Mourning Day. All over India, there were protest meetings to condemn the government's decision. One day Mataram came to be sung everywhere. As a symbol of unity, Raksha Bandhan programs were held. Students in large number boycotted government schools and colleges and participated in the movement. The leadership of this movement was in the hands of Surendranath Banerjee, Anand Mohan Bose, Rabindranath Tagore and such other leaders. The extent of Indian National Congress increased 
due to the anti partition movement it became a national movement owing to the severity of dissatisfaction the british annulled the partition of bengal four point program of indian national congress in the session of 1906 of the indian national congress the four point program was unanimously accepted swadeshi to make use of capital resources and manpower in our country so that it becomes self sufficient boycott it was decided to boycott foreign goods as a first step and boycott foreign rule as the next step it would be an attack on the roots of british imperialism swaraj the final objective is to attain freedom national education to impart education that will create pride for the nation among the people explain the background behind the establishment of indian national congress with the help of following points centralization of administration economic exploitation western education study of ancient indian history role of newspapers the background behind the establishment of the indian national congress in 1885 centralization of administration the uniform policies identical reforms and equality before the law brought the nation under one roof the network of roads and railways brought the people of india together it developed a feeling of unity among indians economic exploitation the economic exploitation of india through imperialistic policies led to the drain of indian wealth to england industries declined and the farmers became bankrupt the imposition of taxes on the middle class and the exploitation of the worker class by the capitalists led to the growth of discontent western education western education familiarized the educated indians with modern values and principles such as liberty equality and democracy they accepted principles like rationalism humanity and nationalism they realized that they could carry out the work of the country by following them study of ancient indian history the manuscripts in sanskrit persian and many other languages were examined and research was published many western scholars started to study indian culture the realization that india had a rich ancient heritage aroused a feeling of national pride among indians role of newspapers newspapers in english and vernacular languages carried articles criticizing the policies of the government it led to a social and political awakening